Monsanto, again, comes up again and again. The home of genetically modified food. Why? Because it's to genetically modify us. Genetically modified food affects human DNA. And I'll give you an example of, of just how... I'll give you an example of just how detailed this is, because what it comes down to on so many levels is there is a level of knowledge here about how everything works, and then there's a level of knowledge that the public are allowed to have. I'll tell you a story I came across um, only last week. We have a, uh, um, a, 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 a treatment for cancer called chemotherapy, which is equivalent for most people to assisted suicide. Stone Age medicine. What chemotherapy does, as we are at the cutting edge of, of knowledge, is uh, kills cells. That's what it does. It kills cells. It doesn't kill cancer cells only. It kills all cells. And the question is, do we kill enough healthy cells to kill the patient before we've killed the cancer cells to rid of the cancer? So what they're doing now is, um, some people anyway, they're trying to find drugs or a biomarker that will put into cancer cells which will only uh, attract the drug and the healthy cells won't. What it turns out, actually, this guy, Professor Dan Burke and, uh, in, in Britain, has established, is that cancer cells already have a biomarker and have always had a biomarker and he's called it CYP1B1. It is an enzyme that only appears in cancer cells and not healthy cells. What he then did was get with another man, Professor Potter at Leicester University, who came up with a substance found in many fruit and vegetables, which is called salvestrols. That's what they call it. And they found this. The CYP1B1 enzyme, only in cancer cells, interacts with salvestrols that we get from fruit and vegetables and turns it into a cancer-killing agent. So we have had a natural cancer response system. As long as we eat fruit and vegetables in rich numbers with these salvestrols in them, when we get a cancer cell, the CYP1B1 enzyme within the cancer cell, but not in the healthy one, creates a chemical reaction with the salvestrols and kills the cancer cell. And doesn't harm normal cells. You get salvestrols in those fruit and vegetables that are subject to fungal attack. Because the salvestrols are what the fruit and vegetables produce to deal with a fungus attack. And the reason salvestrols work against cancer, because we're going to find out, and it's going to be uh, established eventually, cancer is actually a form of fungal attack on the body. Now, this is where I'm going. In the 1950s, they introduced chemical farming. From the 1950s, we have had an epidemic of cancer in the Western world. So what is the effect of this? Because they've been using fungicides on fruit and vegetables, they've been killing the funguses and the fungal attacks artificially, which means the, the fruit and vegetable plants are no longer producing salvestrols to, to, to deal with the fungal attack because it's being done externally for them. But here's the killer that they, they know what they're doing. The most used fungicides used in the world have another effect. They neutralize the effect of CYP1B1, the enzyme in cancer cells. So you can eat all the cell restaurants you like, but if your body accumulates the fungicide poisons through eating these foods, it won't matter anyway because the salvestrol will not be activated as a cancer killing agent because the enzyme within the cancer cell has been neutralized. And after 20 years of research of these people, that is absolutely no accident. They know exactly what they're doing. And that's why in America now, this bill um, is going through to make it virtually impossible for people to produce organic food in America when this bill goes through. Because if you eat organic fruit and vegetables of this type, then you have, you, they are rich in salvestrols because they're still producing them to fight off fungal attack because there's no fungicide getting in the way.